going on, guys? Man. Let me get up. Hmm? So glad to be with you guys. It's Friday. We're supposed to be going live today. We sure were. Work. Aren't we? Well, we, we can still go after after we do this for a short time. I fool my teeth. It'd be in your mold or something like that. Don't do that. Don't That's do the that. That's the last of the food that you wanted to eat. So it's like you're out of the, the, the bag food, so you still got a little left in your teeth. Don't do that. Don't do that. The party don't stop. <laughs> Lego. Hey, so, me and, uh, me and Snapple were talking about this on the last video. And we were talking about global warming. And I said, I am i don't believe in it. I think they they probably play with the weather. They may do they may do stuff, you know, machines and stuff like that. But I He don't and think, I don't I necessarily don't, agree don't wholeheartedly this, on this. I don't believe everything <laughs> is going down the way it is just because they're playing with the weather. I do believe. See, they're... The reason I know weather change, there are certain machines that can change certain things of the weather. Because in California, I saw this thing. It's called a something. It's like a big so boom good. gun thing. And it fires. People, a couple farmers have it on their land. And it mm -hmm. fires in there. And it tries to make people try to fire to see if they can make rain. Oh, wow. And I don't know if it works. It just sounds when I'm it boom. say, does it work? <clears throat> I ain't seen it work. But I saw, I saw it. It's like a big cannon. Go straight up. And um, so if they have stuff like that, I know the government probably has certain other things. But as far as just massive changes on the earth, I don't think so. I just think we've just in them times, um, biblically, when things are starting to happen more that weren't happening. And normal stuff happens that in certain, you know, certain things just happen because it's that time and era, you know. I don't think wholeheartedly way. that man has that capability, you know. You said you believe that climate change is man is man-made. Right. I mean, I don't believe wholeheartedly that they do, but then there's a small percentage of wonder or me thinking that maybe there is something that they could use in outer space to change up the movement of the clouds because the clouds is what produces the clouds is what produces the rain through God. Stop the rain. So how is man able to control that? So I, I don't know. I don't, right, so let's get I don't know. So Thomas Sowell said global warming manufactured by by individuals he said is it is it manufactured by individuals so i'm gonna see if he answers this question and actually i have another video we're gonna also do that talks about it where he he goes into it on that one too so i'm curious to see he's calling he calls it a scam on the other so i want to see what this one okay the world is thinking Again, intellectuals in society, there is a spontaneous demand from the larger society for the end products of engineering, medical, and scientific professions. But the demand for public intellectuals is largely manufactured by the public intellectuals themselves. Yes. Explain that. How do they manufacture demand for their own services? Well, they, they, one, one thing is by uh, alar make, making alarming predictions, uh, offering uh, solutions to our problems. Hmm. Uh, and if they didn't do that, if, if Noam Chomsky had just kept on stating in linguistics, neither of us probably would have ever heard of Noam Chomsky. He would have been just as famous around the world among linguists, but mm -hmm. nobody else would have heard of him. Mm -hmm. What do you make of global warming? Uh, I think it's a classic example of the uh, need for crusades. Now, okay. people, many people are shocked by these emails. I'm not at all shocked by them. I read, I read the original UN study years ago, and I was just curious as to how they were going to deal with the question that the uh, temperatures went up first, and then there was the increase in carbon, di carbon dioxide. Right. Because you can't say that A causes B uh, uh, if B happened first. And so I read this, and I could see they were, they were tiptoeing through the tulips and the way they phrased things and so forth. They, they couldn't confront that. And, and now we're finding out uh, that they, they knew darn well they couldn't deal with all the evidence. Mm. So it fits the pattern of a group of intellectuals, science, mm. climate scientists, mm. who are, have a very narrow competency, suddenly proclaiming that there's a crisis, mm. scaring the rest of us, thereby creating a demand for their services, yes. not as science, climate scientists alone, mm -hmm. but as a kind of high priestly caste that can tell us all how to live and save the entire yes. planet, and in the meantime, generate billions of dollars worth of government programs to fund their research initiatives. And so, so okay. are you, it's a racket. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. But, wow. but again, you have to, but that's what the government does. They'll create this 
boom over here just so they can fund all this. He said, create the need for crusades. So I'm going to give this, create this need for this particular thing so I can fund it and we can go out here and, and make believe and tell you how to live so you can purchase these things uh -huh. for this funded, well, not neededly funded project. Yep. Wow. Take account of the ability of human beings to rationalize. Uh, I'm sure there are scientists out there uh, who, who, who believe some or much of what they're saying. And there are other scientists who believe the opposite. Mm -hmm. but, they, but the ones who are pushing global warming are doing their damnedest to make sure that those who believe the opposite don't get heard in the public. So mm -hmm. wouldn't there, shouldn't there be a, some large-ish body of climate scientists who say the data really does suggest that we're headed into trouble here, but precisely because my saying so as a climate scientist will look like special pleading. I, we as a community of scientists should be even more careful about being completely transparent, pushing the data out to the public. They should overcome the hurdle that it looks like self-pleading. Why, why, why isn't that taking place? There's no payoff to that. All right. Mm. Uh, imagine yourself as an assistant <coughs> professor in some department where, the, uh, where your senior colleagues who are going to vote on your pay, among other things, uh, have millions of dollars in grants handed out to promote global warming, and you say just what, what you just now said. And they all say, this guy is incorrigible. Okay, mm. so, I mean, but listen, how long has the Earth been around? Thousands so, of years, okay. I don't mean thousands. Of right, years, not so let's say thousands. And with that, you mean to tell me that there has not been any changes within the atmosphere that has shifted glaciers, that, you know, has moved things, planets, you know, has caused, um, you know, the volcanoes erupt, you know, all types of things. We have all these types of weather that... Uh, storms, earthquakes that shifts things on the planet that still would impact stuff other places. So you don't think that there's something that's going that has happened where there's some of what they're saying is true? See, that's my dilemma. Okay, one side, and I can uh, can totally agree, but that's what science is. You know, you have researchers who have this hypothesis or whatever they're trying to plead their case and then go on research to say, okay, yeah, this is this, this is that. And then you have these other researchers to say, well, this is what I found. Or I want to suggest this um, prediction. And then they go search after that. So you always have two sides of a coin. Okay. So that's my question. How do you really know? That's why I'm still a little torn. It's like, okay, I believe it. But then again, <laughs> I don't believe it. I I don't know, man. I believe they, they fund a lot of stuff. And I feel like there's certain level to things that so all right all right this is the bottom line man has always wanted god power since the beginning of time man has always wanted god power so have they probably attempted to mess with stuff i'm sure but are we is everything changing because man changed it all i don't believe so i believe we're in the birth birth pain era so that's just my that's just my say so i don't have raw facts but I feel like it's a level that is scam to fund other things. And then it's so many things that can trickle down once they say this is happening because man did it. Or we've we've been messing with the, the weather so we can make these programs that funds this, that funds this, that goes all the way down the line. So I feel like it's only about a money ploy only. Why, do, why does man care to mess with the weather? Why do they care to mess with a God given system that we have on this planet Earth? which is weather. Why would they want to touch that? What does that affect them? But how? How can a machine make it rain? How can a machine... That's called, it's called a money, count, a money lean, shooter, baby. Lean up. That's a money shooter. And I think you're too far back. That's, that's why what it must it be. That's going, why I keep going out. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but no, that's what's called a money, a money shooter. You didn't see the money guns? You said, how does a machine make it rain? The ones that shoot all the dollars out of the gun? I'm just saying, I, you know, how can a machine... I just don't think man has that capability and they just don't have the power. Yeah, I don't. But I do believe that over time, over these thousands of years, there have has things have shifted in the earth. So when they go and say that they may have found some things that have changed that could propose harm to the planet, mm -hmm. I feel like it could be a possibility. But then on the other side, I just know knowing how science works and, you know, the agenda of, of people 
then I still feel like that's why just they, like what Thomas Sowell said. They want to fund their crusades to say that this is needed to tell you how to live your life and, and to and for you to fund and pay for this particular thing they want to promote. And you, you know need what, to and, lean forward again. You know, one of those big things that they trying to promote freaking gas. I mean, the electric car, full electric cars. I believe that's a part of that. They say, oh, we messing with the earth by sucking out this this crude oil. But let's just run electricity. But then the thing is, you still, you still need to use um, gas stuff. We still use gas stuff that's going to get electricity. What about if your house, your house running gas? But then you got an electrical socket in the wall to use the electricity. You're still using gas. It's still using gas so that you can use the electricity. So I don't believe, I feel like it's just their agenda to say, let's push this because they have deep pockets that will come to them for pushing these things from these companies so that their family live great and generations and generations whereas everybody else has to has to hit some kind of level of suffering unless you have wealth and i believe that's the end of it it's going it's only about these systems are only about the rich and the poor that's it mm-hmm. okay all right so like comment subscribe don't take a nose dive but comment down in the section below if you want some more if you want some more Thank you guys for hanging out with us and we'll see you in the next video. All right, y'all.